Genesis 15. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abram said, O sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless, and the one who will inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the heavens and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abram believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. I'm a part of the promise So I count the stars in the heavens And number all my descendants As I'm crying out for redemption for a chosen generation I'm a part of your promise So I count the stars in the heavens And number all my descendants As I cry And 
Y los hijos de tus hijos Que te cubran con su gracia Hasta mil generaciones Tu familia y tus hijos Y los hijos de tus hijos Que te cubran con su gracia Hasta mil generaciones Tu familia y tus hijos Y los hijos de tus hijos Que te cubra con su gracia Hasta mil generaciones Tu familia y tus hijos Y los hijos y tus hijos Y hijas tú aleja de el fe Dolor mi chaqueja Y la deja, tu lo deja, ajareja, rujo te lej, le faneja, le si deja, ajareja, mis viveja, de mi peja, huidja, huidja, babo que uva eder, de te teja, uvo eja, mis loteja, de yo sveja, huidja, huidja.
even when you're displeased with yourself, he's standing with arms wide open, ready to flood you with grace. We are our own worst critics. We judge ourselves much more harshly than the Lord does. Remember, he sees you with the finished product in mind. He doesn't look at you and wonder how he'll ever mature you to the point of perfection. And even when he corrects you, it's done with the conviction of tender love. It is with pleasure that he knows you. And he truly knows you more than anyone else in the world. And you still bring him joy. to you as bridegroom there's always an open invitation with the Lord to go deeper and so just as he met and visited with Moses face to face it's as simple as just opening your arms and just asking the Lord to come and visit you in the book of Psalms King David said Lord I seek your face your face Lord will I seek and in that place face to face encounter that's where you're transfigured and transformed into his likeness. So in Jesus' name, Father, I bless everyone watching this. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, come. Will you begin to descend in power and fill every home and every heart? And Father, would you let your fire fall and plant a fresh fire in every heart to burn for Jesus, to seek you face to face, I thank you, Father, for a release of fresh intimacy and fresh oil and fire to descend upon every heart right now. In Jesus' mighty name, God, will you breathe on this home, this family, this city, this region. We ask you for revival in every heart, in every home, in every family. And we ask you in the name of Jesus for lost loved ones, neighbors. We ask you for radical salvations, Holy Ghost power and fire and feelings miraculous instant healing, supernatural deliverances, and hearts set ablaze with fresh passion to burn for Jesus. Thank you for creating fiery ones to shake nations and transform cities and regions and high schools and neighborhoods. We ask you for the nations, Father, radically saved. Let a mighty revival awakening sweep the nations like a tsunami. Jesus, we worship you. We give you glory, God. We ask you for your presence, the tangible manifestation of your presence to fill every home and increase it. I thank you for a way to glory, God, to invade every heart and every home and a visitation from head to toe with the great Holy Ghost and fire. And Father, won't you put in every heart a revelation of how much you burn for them, Father. 
give them devotion and grace for radical devotion, for intimacy with Jesus. And right now in Jesus' name, I speak to every every injury right now. I release healing virtue in Jesus' name and gospel power, waves of gospel power and healing virtue to overwhelm every cell in your body. Be healed, be made whole. Every disrepair be made whole, be healed and restored in Jesus' mighty name. All pain, get out, go to zero right now. Every demonic assignment attack be broken in Jesus' mighty name now. Sickness, we rebuke you. Infirmity, we drive you out in Jesus' name. Thank you for complete healing head to toe in Jesus' name.